Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to be cooking arroz uh, con habichuela negra, which means uh, rice with black beans. And uh, basically I am going to try to focus into showing you the ingredients and I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in the pan. And after the oil, oil, what I'm going to add in is um, my sofrito, which I'm going to have to go get. Give me one second in the refrigerator. Which my sofrito is right here in my jars that I already have done. And you guys already have it online if you want to make the sofrito from scratch at home. And that's basically is going to be an easy sofrito that you can make without having to to do so much okay so here is the pan I put a little bit of oil in there now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to I'm going to put the sofrito in there and it's gonna take me a couple of minutes to do that because the sofrito is having a hard time opening up. But basically what you do is just, I'm gonna show you, put the sofrito in. Put the sofrito in. And I can put maybe two or three spoons depending on how much you want to put in it is up to you to decide what you, how many you want to put in um, I'm going to lower a little bit down so this is um, the sofrito now I'm going to put the chicken cubes Hold on, I need to. It's a little bit harder to do it with one hand because I'm trying to record it for you guys to see it. To see the, the result. So I'm going to try to do that. And hopefully you guys are able to see it. Give me one second. I'm going to try to put the, the... It's not going to be possible. Sorry for the mixing up here. I'm gonna put it down for a second and I'm gonna try to peel the peel the chicken cubes because it's a little hard to do it with one hand. Give me one second. So this is uh the sofrito with the chicken cubes are already in there. It probably needs a little bit more oil. Just put, add a little bit more oil. And then just try to make sure that everything is together. And next is going to be Tomato paste. I'm gonna put some tomato paste in. And it could be one one of one and a half teaspoon. I mean one and a half spoon. Um, with black beans you don't have to put too much tomato paste in because the tomato paste um, is going to be the black beans is going to be black it doesn't it's going to have that much color but it's going to be pretty good okay so this is how it's going to look with the sofrito the tomato paste and the uh, chicken cubes that's how it should be looking 
once you of course you have a little bit of oil in there and it doesn't matter what oil you use i'm currently using olive oil but you can use pretty much use whatever you need and then you have i should have this open already okay then you have this you slow simmer a sofrito and everything else in there and that's going to be one of those things that you're actually going to I'm to see if I can put it in here and you guys can see it I'm going to put it in that's how it's going to look in consistency and I'm going to try to open the can so I can get this done Okay, so this is the, the the bush beans that I'm putting in. You just add it in. Add the bush beans. And they are like black beans. Um, very uh, bush black beans. Out of the other day. I mean, you can bake your own beans, which probably I'm going to try to get you guys. I'm going to probably do my own beans in my pressure cooker. Uh, one of those days and show you how I do with my own beans, but right now I'm using cans which Makes it a little bit easier But if you have your own beans already pre-cooked, Basically what you need to do is just um, is Just take them out of the freezer Maybe the day before one or two days before and this way you know that but this is how it looks and then you have um, the tomato paste just um, chicken cubes um, the um, the beans and uh, and that's how it looks in consistency um, I normally do maybe like like three cups of rice but today I'm only gonna do like two cup of rice we don't need that much rice two cup of rice should feed us and and do a good job on that but this is how it looks and uh, after we're done with it and the beans is going to I'm going to try to put it in here, and that's how it's going to look. The beans already mixed together, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the water in, and I'm going to put in, for each cup of rice, for each cup, I use a regular cup, um, and for each cup of rice, I am going to use, um, I'm going to use a, um, a cup of water to also with it. So that's going to be, because I'm only going to do two cup of waters, I mean two, two cups of rice, I'm going to put two cups inside. And I'm going to show you as soon as I... That was one cup of water, and then this is the second one going in. So that is two cups of water in there. And you know what? Maybe I will put it in. And I'm going to put a half. So maybe I'll do two and a half. Two and a half cups to two and a half uh, cups of rice. So that's what I'm going to do. And then this is how it should look when you're done putting that in there. So let me see what I can do here. So you guys can see a little bit better. And hopefully this will help you guys concentrate more on the food than actually me just talking. If you like me talking, then that's okay. You can do that. Um, I am going to try. Okay, I'm gonna turn it. You know what? I'm just gonna put it right here. 
It's a little hard to uh, work with this camera. You know, add the on, you know, the camera and the chat for the same time. I have to find a way. To, maybe if you have any recommendation, how can I do it? Um, uh, comment below and let me know. So I'm going to try to do the vice now. And what we're going to do is just get two and a half cup of rice. And I don't think I added a half cup of water. I'm gonna do that now. Add the other half cup. And um, I'm gonna wash the rice. Where is that measuring cup? Okay. And for the cup of rice. To wash the rice. So as you can see, this is going to be one cup of rice. And I'm going to get another cup of rice and I'll put it right here. Into this, there's two. That's a little bit too much, two, so two on a little bit, and I'm gonna put it because I'm doing two and a half. I'm going to do a little bit less because I did a lot in that one. So that should be two and a half. Two and a half cup of rice. I'm gonna go wash this and I'm gonna wash the, the rice a little bit. Just a little bit. better um, if you ask me why I wash it because my mom taught me that that's the way you do rice you wash it I know sometimes think that you shouldn't wash your rice that you prefer not to but guess what it's the way I was taught and this is the way I do it so now then after what I wait is for the water to boil here once this water is boiling which it should have been boiling but because I didn't actually put too much um, too much fire on it because I'm moving a little bit slower. Um, it's going to be able to take. But um, um, this is Eva. Say hi, Eva. Hi. Hi. Say, mommy's doing arroz con con uh, habichuela. Mommy is doing arroz con habichuela. Habichuela negra. I don't, I don't know. Okay, so I'm doing rice and uh, and black beans mixed together, and that's a very this is a very well known uh, Dominican dish um, that we make all the time. Um, sometimes we cook our own beans, and that's basically where it comes down to it. You know what? I'm just going to pour the. Normally, I, I wait for the rice to boil, and that will be okay. But I'm gonna pour the rice inside and basically I'm going to take out all the rice that is left in the pan and try to put it back in there and you guys are going to have to let me um, I'm going to have to pull it down for a second because um, I definitely have to get in there and put my hands and try to get the rice out of the bowl of the 
I'll wear this. I'll give it one second and I'll put that there. And then what I do is I, I take all the rice out. And of course, I wash my hands before starting, so you know my hands are clean and they are perfectly clean. Okay, so this is actually the rice, the beans in there, with all the mixture of it. So this is the consistency it's going to be. And you have the rice, and you have everything else. But like I said, my sofrito is, is what makes life a little bit easier. I know my, my first video of the sofrito is a long one, but you see that um, it's, it takes 15 minutes to do the rice. Now you just let them um, dry, the, the water rice dry, and then you just cover it. And I'm going to try to put it in here so you can let, it, you can let the water boil. And you're going to be able to see that. Meanwhile, I'm going to look in the line and the top for it. Okay, so I got my top already. And I'm waiting for the rice to just dry a little bit. And that's all you have to wait for it. And then you cover it. You can either put a little bit of foil in it. And believe me, I didn't even taste it. Um, I do put a little bit of vinegar in it. And I'm gonna, you're gonna see me putting that on, on now. Put a little bit of vinegar, not too much. Just a little bit. A little bit of vinegar. And that is going to just give more flavor to the So let's hope that this thing um, um, we're just gonna let the, that boil and everything is going to once that's done I'm gonna try to do the that boil then you can cover it with foil or you can cover it with something else okay. and I'm going to pair the rice I'm gonna pair the rice with I'm gonna pair the rice with this chicken um, it's, it's from Costco too it's called chicken skewer and um, I think I'm just gonna um, do it in the oven Normally I would try to do it like um, a um, beef, I mean chicken stew, but I have to say that, you know, I'm cutting full time, it's already 4.54 here, and um, food needs to be done fast. And this one have chicken skewers, and they are 24 ounce, 1.5 pounds. And then they do proteins. And the two packages, I'm going to do one, and the other one I'm going to save. And um, if you want to know the ingredients in the cut, on the ingredients are right here. Um, and then this is the nutrition facts on it. But they're going to look like that. And I'm going to do them in the oven. And what I do is I actually um, put a little bit of... Uh, Put one of them in the oven and then I put barbecue sauce on top and just make them all barbecue and um, that's basically what I'm, we're gonna do pair with the with the rice with the rice I mean the the habichuela um, black beans with rice so let's see how that goes but this is how it goes and it's already boiling and it should be drying up pretty soon and uh, you can see 
you can see how that is going to boil and it's going to dry up and naturally that's going to get dry. So once that's dry, then I can cover it with um, some foil on top and then the regular lid that is going to go on top of it. So let's see how that goes. I'm going to leave this right here. And um, I don't know if you guys like the, the new direction. You know, people tell me that I should focus more on the food instead of actually talking so much. Just let me know if that's the case. I'm okay with that. Because sometimes, I do understand people don't want to hear me. They want to see the food. But they want to see what's going on in the background instead of me talking all the time. But let me know. And this is from Canada, this chicken. So this is, this is, is um, pretty good. Let me see if you need instruction. Uh, it says, I need to heat it up 400 degrees. 400 degrees in the oven. And I'm gonna put the oven to heat up. I mean, it would be nice if you actually put the oven to heat up a little bit before you do the rice, but I have to say, I'm not doing, I mean, this is not going the way that I expected, but let's do this. So, the oven is heating up already, and I'm going to try to put the, put the chicken once the oven is heated up already. But this is the the rice arroz con habichuela negra and well known as rice and black beans and which is very typical dominican dish that you can make um very simple and you know you just have to wait for it to dry up and basically once it dry i cover it that's what i do dry and that should be my cubes to try to um once it's dry i can cover it and you know cover it for 20 minutes um and then you you turn it you turn it once you're done you turn it and um once the the, the rice is already the one part is well done you can turn it around if you need to put a little bit of oil on top like my mom called me. Or you can put um, something else. Um, I mean, you can just leave it the way it is. Not too much to do. And I'm running a little bit low on battery. So um, I'm going to put this. So this is how it should look once you're completely done. And just make sure, keep moving it because sometimes if you, if you have a um, too high uh, the rice tend to get stuck on the bottom and you don't want that you don't want the, the rice to be stuck because that's um, unless you like to have corn corn which we call uh, or, uh, um, or, or duro like uh, Puerto Rican say it I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly I hope I am um, but um, then you lower lower the the ball lower the flame a little bit you see how it was high now it's going to be lower to the lowest level and then you're going to try to put a little bit of the foil in there and i'm going to lay you i'm going to lay you a little bit of foil and maybe you can see it when i'm doing it a little bit of foil so it can be done faster and you put the lid on top and that is how you finish the um, and then you just wait maybe 15 to 20 minutes and the rice should be done on the bottom and then you turn it around and then after 10 minutes you your rice is completely done um, I'm starting to do 
we're going to do the chicken cubes right here in a little pan in the oven they're going to be done at 400 degrees in the oven 400 degrees in the oven and i am going to try to do this so with the chicken cubes this is um the chicken cubes and I'm gonna just put them in the oven and then afterwards I'm going to coat it with a little bit of barbecue sauce and there are like six of them or seven in the package so that should be more than enough to feed at least a, a family of five or six or seven depending on how many you want to give each person you know there's seven here so each person can have one or each person can have depending on how they like to eat uh, normally I think we're gonna have two each and then the girls can have one each and then there will be one left and some sometimes I just share with my husband so that's how it goes but that's basically um, the chicken the chicken is uh, is very simple and you can buy them at Costco I'm not quite sure how much they cost but I can look it up uh, last time I looked it up, I didn't have a price online, so that's why I didn't put it in my comments. But this is a Costco, and it's a dual pack, and a skewer, chicken, um, and they seem to be grilled already. So it's just a matter of you actually putting it in the oven, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the oven. The oven is going to be 40, 400 degrees, and telling me that the oven is not ready yet but I'm gonna put them anyway because you know what they need to go in there so once they're done what I'll do is um, so you can see once they're done um, my oven is still heating up as you can see it's 185 but it's gonna get to 400 soon I'm just gonna put it in ahead of time and, um, and once I'm done with that then I'm gonna turn the camera around and see if you guys don't mind seeing me for a little bit. I hope that um, you guys enjoy this video because, and if you like this video, please subscribe. Um, subscribe or subscribe to the video. Uh, it's a little bit messy here, so subscribe and um, and let me know if um, it's hard because my camera is backwards now because I try to show you the food. But this is basically how it looks. I hope that you guys are seeing me, but if I'm not, <laughs> we'll see. Um, so that's the rice. Now the chicken is gonna be, and I just give them 10 minutes and then I just coat it with a little bit of barbecue sauce on top. And it's very simple. This. It's very simple barbecue sauce, uh, chicken with um with rice so hopefully you guys enjoyed this um this video if you like it please uh subscribe if you feel that you want to see me more let me know because i'm just trying to see what you guys like or what you don't like uh, so i'm going to try to, the rice should be done and it's going to take a little while i don't want to keep you guys uh going there so um i'm probably going to show some pictures of the um, of the result because if i keep it going you guys are going to get tired just seeing this and for so long so um guys it's a simple rice and um and black beans and um once you make the sofrito like i said it's very simple you all you need the ingredients are very um fast and simple so let's um, let me know if you wanted uh, if you like this and if you don't uh, let me know I'll try to make it I'm gonna try to if you have any recommendations so how can I put this camera so I actually don't have to move it around so much and you guys can can see everything uh, comment below and let me know because I don't know I'm having a hard time moving the camera around and it's like my first week doing this videos and I'm not sure if I'm doing a good job just let me know Bye-bye. I'll see you guys um, and uh, have a good night. Bye.